How do I find a good voiceover coach? Let's talk about something that's just 100% completely subjective. Why not? <laughs> oh, what have I got myself into? <sighs> In the last video, I did talk about an experience that I had with a voiceover coach and it didn't go as planned. I do have some things that I consider really important when looking for a coach. So let's talk about it. Let's do it right now. News from the booth. Hi, villagers. Welcome back to the voiceover village. I'm Rick McIver, your Neo Maxi Zoom Dweeby. I have four things that I think are really important to being a good voiceover coach, and these are completely subjective. These are my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Number one, the most important thing, I think you need to find a coach that is currently working in the genre that you're interested in. I mean, think about it like this. If you were looking for a coach for, I don't know, golf or something, uh, you wouldn't necessarily go and find someone who's really good at weightlifting or necessarily great at uh, football or track and field. I don't know. You would look for a golf coach. Same is true, I think, in voiceover. If you are interested in doing promo, find someone who's working in promo. If you're interested in doing commercial, Find someone who's working in commercial, e-learning, corporate narration. All those genres are very, very specific. So find a coach that is already involved in that field and working themselves as a voice actor in that field. Now, just because someone is a working voice actor doesn't make them a good coach. If you think about it, though, they have insights into the industry that could benefit you. There are other elements that need to be in place as well. So let's look at the second thing. I think it's really important for a coach to be honest with you and not blow smoke up your place. Because really, you want a coach that's going to tell you the truth, that's going to reflect your performance, is able to tell you without being mean. You don't want a mean coach that's like, rawr, that sucked, rawr, 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 right? No, that's not what you want. Because everybody's different. Everybody's an individual and they have their own take on things. It's just that you need to have a coach that is willing to be honest with you and say, you're not landing this. Um, I have a coach that I've used that has just told me while I'm in class with them is that, why are you just reading to me? Where's the story? And then that's not necessarily mean, it's true. It was true at the time. I wasn't deeply involved in the story. I didn't know how to hear it. And so that's part of the learning process is getting honest feedback. That reminds me of a story. I was in a class with a coach who was also a demo producer. They were teaching about uh, commercial stuff, let's just say. And so we all went around the room and we read parts of different scripts and stuff and got feedback from the coach. And when this person came up, they were pretty good. But the coach was like, oh, I have nothing for you. I have no feedback for you. I think you're ready to record a demo right now. So that's what they did. They ended up recording a demo too soon. And what ended up happening is that it was okay, but that's all it was. The demo was kind of just okay. It was fine. There was nothing wrong with it, but it didn't stand out. It didn't really feature them. It didn't really highlight their strengths. You want to have a coach that's not coaching towards a demo, it's not trying to sell you something, isn't going to be done in a weekend. You want a coach that's going to be completely honest with you with where you are right now. And honestly, I can't really think of anyone who is ready to record a demo after one session or a weekend session or even a week long session of classes. You need time to listen and hear. So that's number two. I think the third thing that's really important is that a good coach will have references, referrals. You'll hear about this person from another person, from a third party that is just giving a testimonial off the cuff. The best coaches that I've found and worked with have all worked with other people first, and they kind of tell me about them, and so then I call. Now, I've only worked with somewhere between five and 10 coaches. It's not like I'm going out there and sampled 50 coaches. I haven't booked a coach because I saw a Facebook ad or a YouTube pre-roll ad or something. Most of the time I book a coach from a referral and that seems to work out the best. And last thing, and I think it's really, really important. A good voiceover coach is going to teach you how to listen. It's really essential actually to be able to hear yourself and your performance and whether it's working or not, whether you're actually identifying with the story or not. 
that's really important because most of the time when you're in here and you're reading from a script that a client gives you, you're self-directing. You have to be able to hear yourself and go, oh, that didn't really land or I'm not really latching onto the story here or, oh, no, that, that nailed it. You need to be able to hear that. You need to be able to tell whether you're doing a good job. And a good coach is going to give you the opportunity to be able to hear yourself and coach you so you can kind of understand what works and what's not working. In that light, what's really helpful is homework. A coach needs to give you homework so that you can take that, record, listen, and then later on, when you're in session with them, get feedback from what you've done. That way you're both hearing the same thing. It's hard to talk and hear at the same time. You really need to be able to listen back to your recordings. And when you can listen back with a coach, it's very, very helpful for learning how to hear and understand when you're nailing it and when you're not. So the bottom line here is do your homework. Trust your gut. Um, I don't know, be open to what's possible. You'll find a good coach. It might, you might not hit it the first time. That's okay. That's what group classes are for. That's what uh, X sessions are for. That's what conferences are for. That's uh, what like 15 minute consult calls are for. Book a one or two sessions with someone before you make that decision. And if it's not working, it's okay to say, you know, it's not working. I need to move on to somebody else. Not every coach works for every student. So you need to find someone you click with. If you'd like to watch some more videos about YouTube and voiceover and geeky stuff like that, <laughs> check out these videos. I really appreciate you watching. I hope it's been helpful. Until next time.